Hey everyone, and now let's talk about making ethanol. And ethanol is the second member of the alcohol family, and it has two carbon atoms present in the compound. Now, we can make ethanol using two different methods. The first method we're going to talk about is a biological method, and it's, it's using fermentation. The second method we're going to talk about is the hydration of ethene, and we already talked about this in the addition reaction with alkenes we're just gonna go over it one more time right here in the video so let's start with the first one so the first method we can make an ethanol with is by fermentation and the fermentation uses glucose so let me write this so actually it doesn't use glucose it uses sugar or starch or cellulose and it produces ethanol right there and carbon dioxide gas and a lot of energy so this process is an exothermic process well in this reaction also we use some enzyme and yeast and the yeast has so many living cells and therefore it catalyzes the reaction meaning it speeds up the reaction so also one thing to mention is that in the process of fermentation we take sugar starch or cellulose as we mentioned and these break down to glucose plus ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus energy also a very important thing and this is I'm gonna be writing in red the temperature of this reaction should be between 30 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius so if the if the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius the reaction would be very slow and if the temperature is 34 degrees Celsius this would kill the yeast so you have to be in between 30 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius in order for the reaction to proceed and you get the best results. Also, this reaction does not, as we see right here, does not yield pure ethanol. It yields carbon dioxide with the ethanol. So in order to get the ethanol alone, we use fractional distillation. So let me spell this correctly. So let me rub this. So this delation. Now that's it for the fermentation in order to get ethanol. Now let's move on to the second method, which is hydration of ethene and we already talked about this as I mentioned in the previous video where we discussed addition reactions with alkenes and we said in order to get an alcohol we just react an ethane an ethene excuse me with water and this would yield ethanol an alcohol so this reaction is also exothermic and it's carried out as an, at an optimum temperature of 570 degrees Celsius. Also, a catalyst is used to speed up the reaction, so to speed up the reaction. Now, that's that for the hydration of ethene. Now, let's compare these two processes in order to know which one is best and the advantages and the disadvantages so let's write here so here is hydration and here is fermentation so the first thing we're gonna compare is that the source from which we get the ethene now excuse me the ethanol so the first one is the hydration of ethene we get ethene from crude oil let me switch colors so we get ethene from crude oil and crude oil is a non-renewable 
my spelling is horrible <laughs> so it's a non renewable energy source now for the fermentation we use a readily renewable source which is the sugar so this is an advantage to use fermentation so fermentation wins in this category now for the reaction of hydration it's a very very fast reaction while in fermentation it's relatively slower process so it's a slower process since it's a biological one so it's relatively slow now the, the third thing we're gonna compare is the yield so in hydration we get pure ethanol while in fermentation as we said in the reaction we get both carbon dioxide and ethanol so we have to use fractional distillation in order to get pure ethanol so we get impure ethanol in this case now let's move on to a fourth thing which is the last thing we're gonna look at is that here in hydration we use very high temperature as we said it's a 570 degrees celsius this is the optimum temperature you can start from 300 up to 570 while here we used very gentle temperature as we said it's a 30 degrees celsius to 34 degrees celsius so it's slightly more hotter than room temperature so it's it's considered a very gentle temperature now that's it for comparing the two processes by which we can make ethanol so let's recap so in this video we talked about the two different methods by which we can make ethanol we said that the first method is by fermentation and in fermentation we use sugar starch or cellulose one of these three not all and we use in this reaction also some enzymes and yeasts and this will yield ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus energy and we said all the different details regarding this reaction and then we moved on to hydration of ethene and we said we talked about this before in addition reaction with alkenes and finally we discussed the pros and cons of hydration and fermentation and we saw that in some cases the fermentation wins over the hydration and in other cases the hydration wins so that's it for the two processes by which we can we can make ethanol in the next video we're going to talk about the reactions of ethanol so stay tuned and good luck